Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Flamingo Jackson. I uh, just wanted to do a quick video. I've had a lot of people asking me about how to get started in comedy and I'm gonna address that in this video. I'm also gonna talk about how I got started um, in comedy. So we're gonna hash those two things out. But before we do that, I want you guys to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, please. In order for you guys to see more content from me, I need you guys to help me out by pushing the algorithm and, and letting them know that I'm here because I'm gonna tell you right now, it doesn't, I don't think they know I'm here, um, but we're, we're gonna get through it. So um, hit that like, hit that subscribe button uh, so you can see more videos coming up from me. I guarantee you, you're gonna see a lot more stuff coming from me from this page. So let's get into it. So I wanna start by kind of briefly telling you guys how I got into comedy. So I'm gonna tell you, and people know this story, people have heard this story. Um, but I'm going to tell it to you guys. I never thought in a million years that I would be doing comedy. Okay. Never thought it. I've always knew I was funny. Um, but I never thought I was funny enough to where I would start having a following. So I, I did some professional singing back in the day. I'm not going to get into all the ins and outs of that, but I'm kind of used to being on stage. But anyways, I, I did some professional sing singing. You know, you go through life, life happens, you know, you stop doing those type of dream things because you need money. Um, I continue to work throughout my life. Of course, fast forward to the pandemic. Pandemic hits and I download TikTok of all apps to download. I download TikTok during the pandemic. Long story short, I started making a whole bunch of videos. People started following me and that's how I kind of realized that I had some chops. So I started writing some some stand up bits and some stuff, you know, and and I'll get into kind of what I think you guys should do in order to get started. But what one of the things that I did to get started was, you know, I started writing down everything, all the ideas that I had for TikToks, all the comedy ideas, all the joke ideas. I just started writing it down. And I say writing it down as in putting it in my notes section on my phone. So um, a couple of guys and I'll name them B Patton and um, Goose. Uh, they saw my stuff or, or B Patton was following me and he actually told Goose about me and Goose reached out to me and was like, hey man, you're funny. Do you, uh, have you ever done stand up?" And I said, no, never done stand up." And I had been thinking about it. I, I kind of wanted to do it, but it was one of those things where I don't think I would have ever really did it. I don't think I ever, I don't think I would have stepped on the stage and, and, and did stand up. Uh, and he gave me an opportunity. They had a tour that they, that they were doing. They only wound up doing two shows. Um, there was some stuff that happened and they wound up canceling the tour. But I went and did a show in Greensboro, got on stage and did a 25 minute set. My first set that I did was a 25 minute set on stage and I held it. Uh, and from what everybody says, I did pretty well. So, you know, I've been kind of chasing it after, you know, ever since then I've been kind of chasing that high. But, um, yeah, I've been doing stand up ever since. And I say I've been doing stand up ever since. I'm not even going to sit here and say I'm a guru because I'm not, you know, by any stretch of the imagination. I'm not even close to a guru. But, you know, I've I've done some shows. I've done some stuff. And, you know, I've, I have a pretty good idea of at least how to get started. You know, uh, I don't have a ton of success in it yet, but that, that's coming. That's coming for sure. Um, so. Without further ado, let's get into let's get into how I feel like it's a good way to get started. And you know, this is like I said, the, the way that I done things or I have done things. Um, and it may work for you, it may not work for you, but I definitely wanted to give some young comics out there or, or people who are just aspiring to be comedians, you know, a, a good feeling of kind of what to, what to expect and also kind of what to do to get to get the wheels turning. Uh, one of the first things I'll say, and I said it earlier, is write down everything. Write down any idea that you ever come up with, put it down, whether it's on paper, whether it's in the notes section on your phone, whether you have to email it, you know, type it out and email it to yourself, whatever. I have the notes section on my phone. I have a ton of jokes and um, sketch ideas and concepts and all kinds of stuff. You know, because I'm constantly thinking about that stuff as I go through life, because with comedians, as you go through life, you know, you, you start to see things and you start to realize things are funny and, and, and whatnot. So write everything down. Always, always write everything down, because 
I can guarantee you I have forgotten a lot of very good jokes. You know, I, I would come up with something in my head and I would move on to something else. And then either later or the next day, I'd be like, what, what was I thinking about? And it's completely gone. So write everything down for sure. Also, watch stand-up specials. Watch stand-up specials. I cannot uh, reiterize that enough. Did I use that word right? I don't know. I may not have used it right. Let me know if I used it right or not. I probably didn't. Um, <laughs> but watch a bunch of stand-ups. You know, it's it's great to watch every style comedian. You, It's great to watch a good physical comedian. It's good to watch a good controversial comedian. Um... It's a good to watch some intellectual comedians like Aziz Ansari is very intellectual and intellectual. Of course, Dave Chappelle is very intellectual. Um, you know, just very, very well read people. Um, so it's always good to watch that. You know, it's good to watch stand ups because you, you get a feel for the cadence of jokes. You get to see how even the best of them. Um, I watched the Pete Davidson special not too long ago and he did some jokes that didn't go over well. And he didn't get a whole lot of laughs and he just rolled to the next one. You know, it's, it's good to see stuff like that because it gives you an idea of how to handle yourself on stage. Trust me, don't don't take any jokes. Don't take any bits um, because people will see that. People will notice that. Um, but it, you can definitely take little bits and pieces of just the way that jokes are delivered from different comics, you know, and it's going to take a lot of repetition from you getting on stage and going through your thing to figure out what your thing is. I'm still trying to figure that out myself. You know, I'm trying different things on stage and it's just a work in progress. You go to open mic nights and all that stuff and, and we'll, we'll talk about that and, and you just work your jokes out. So open mic nights, go to open mic nights. If there are any comedy clubs in your area I can almost guarantee you that somewhere in one of those comedy clubs or just little bars and clubs around the area, they're going to do open mic nights. So just Google open mic, um, comedy open mic in my city or near me. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're going to come up with something. Um, it's always, 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 always good to go to open mic nights. Now, the thing about open mics, they're tough. And when I say they're tough, you only have three minutes and a lot of them. You only have three to five minutes. I know the one that I go to all the time, you only have three minutes to go up there and do your thing. So it's it's not easy. It's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy at all. And a lot of times there's a lot of comics there. And I will say one thing that you will know and you will learn is that comedians do not laugh. I'm not one of those comedians. If somebody is funny, I'm going to laugh. But the majority of comedians at comedy clubs do not laugh. So if you're waiting for laughs or validation from other comedians, you're probably not going to get it. You're going to have jokes that are not going to do well. That is going to happen. Do not get in your feelings because your joke doesn't do well. Uh, it's a lot of factors that could make it, make it not funny. You know, you, your delivery was off. Your cadence was off. The, the the crowd is off. I mean, you can't do baby jokes with a college crowd. They're not going to be able to relate. You can't talk about your kids unless it's unless it's just that funny. But they just can't relate to that. You're going to lose them, you know. So don't get so upset whenever your jokes don't do well. You know, I've I've had to really really get used to that because, you know, in your mind especially when you're writing things, you're like, oh, this is going to kill. This is going to kill. This is going to be so great. And it, when it doesn't, it kind of hurts you. You kind of get in your feelings. I'm a cancer. I get in my feelings a lot. <laughs> but um, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Just roll to the next joke. Keep it moving. Just remember to always go out there and have fun and do your thing. You know, at the end of the day, you know, you're, you're going you're gonna to have some good nights. You're going to have some bad nights. There's all kinds of comedians who talk about bombing. You know, and these are established comedians. Dave Chappelle said he went to Detroit and bombed. You know, I mean, it's just going to happen. It's going to happen sometimes. Um, one of the last things I want to say about getting started, and, and this is a route that some people do take. Um, you can't go to school. There are some stand-up 101 type classes. 
I know the comedy club that I do open mic nights at, they do a uh, stand up one-on-one -on -one class. I have a friend out and um, on the West Coast who just went through a comedy club um, school on uh, stand up. I have another friend out over here on the West Coast who also went through a, a school and did her first stand up set and killed it actually. So you can't go to school um, if you have the time and the money for that. Me, didn't have the time and the money for it. And I, I just, I felt like I could, I could go up there and I could work it out without having to go to school. Now, that's not me trying to say I'm, I'm the bomb or I think I'm, I'm awesome. I could probably benefit from school, but that just wasn't the path that I chose or the path that I wanted to take. Um, I have a social media following and I feel like um, if I work on my social media following, then that will help. Um, that will help me put asses in seats is, is kind of what they say. That'll help me sell tickets in the long run. So I'm focusing so much on on my brand. I'm focusing on the social media out, out, uh, the social media aspect of my comedy brand, and I think that's what's gonna gonna carry me on. Now, if if that's the route you want to take, if you want to go to school, then great. I actually respect the people that go to school because you're respecting the craft and you're respecting the art and you're trying to make sure that you're going about it the right way. I'm just not that guy. <laughs> not that I don't respect the craft. I do. It is a sacred ground. I can tell you the, the feeling that I got the first time I stepped up on the stage at Good Nights Comedy Club, which is the one I go to all the time, knowing that there are so many legends that have graced that stage. You know, there's a an entryway that you walk in and, and there's pictures that have autographs of Chris Rock, Dave Chappelle, like all of the, the comedy greats that have been through that stage and who have stood on that stage, you know, that I stood on. That's a, that's a big thing. That's a big thing. So I love that. Uh, I love that about it. So I hope that helped. Um, if you're an aspiring comedian, if you want, you know, any help, um, definitely come to my page. You know, uh, this, this page, I, I've, I've tr been trying to figure out kind of how I want this page to be. This page is going to be a, a vlog of my life as a comedian. You know, uh, I, I really feel like I want to get my career per se on video. You know, uh, this, this is, this will be the way that you can follow me through my journey. So uh, I, I hope you guys will enjoy this page. Um, I'm, I promise you I'm going to do more videos on this page. Just bear with me. You know, it's, it's kind of hard when you're working a full-time job and you're not doing content for a living. Now, whenever I can start doing content for a living, I guarantee you guys you'll see a whole lot more of me. And there is some great stuff that I have coming up that I will be able to get a ton of footage and you guys will just be able to follow me along in my journey. There are some great things in the works. I say, when I say great things, great things in the works. Can't talk too much about it, but there's some great things in the works. If it all pans out, if it all comes to fruition, y'all are gonna love the stuff that's coming. So um, stay tuned to this page. Uh, if you're not following any of my other socials, I'm on TikTok. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, and of course I'm on here, Flamingo Jackson Comedy across all platforms. Check out my TikTok, it's it's a blast. And uh, uh, my other social media pages are definitely going, going to be up there with my TikTok. So I'm glad you guys um, decided to stay and take a look at this video. Like I said, please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe button, and I guarantee you, you guys will not be the word just completely left me. See, this is this is what I'm going to do. I'm not even going to edit that out. Disappointed. Why did the word leave me? It completely just left me just then. I promise you, you guys will not be disappointed. You guys have a blessed day. Have an amazing week. I love you all. Thank you for hanging out with me. Peace.